Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing a look and a giveaway with a new palette from ColourPop. This is the Child palette. I just keep calling it the Mandalorian palette because it's Star Wars, the Mandalorian, and uh, <laughs> it's got cute baby Yoda on the front of it. And I mean, I just had to have it. Did I need it? No, I, I don't think I need any more makeup for the rest of my life, but I mean, color story is really pretty. And then Baby Yoda, it's just Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda, Baby Yoda. Do I need to explain myself or is Baby Yoda enough? Because <laughs> I just, I love, I love it. It's so cute. And the one that I'm giving away, it's cracking me up because <laughs> I covered it back up. If you saw my Charlotte Tilbury Fire Rose Palette Review and Tutorial, you saw me open this palette up at the end of that video just to make sure that it wasn't broken. And I'm just, I'm cracking up because I see the little Baby Yoda's eye <laughs> sticking out of the hole like, where am I going? Who am I going to end up with? And if you would like to win this palette, just stay tuned until the end of the video. The Child palette retails for $16 on the ColourPop website. However, right now it is out of stock, but, 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 I have heard that it is coming back into stock or restocked. I don't have the exact date. Somebody oh, somebody in my comment section did say it and I forgot to screenshot it. If I find it, I will put it up here, but I'm just letting you know that it's out of stock, should be coming back and there is an email me option. So if you're interested in it, I would say just sign up for the email to get a notification when it does come back into stock. All right, so on the outside, we've already talked about the cuteness. Now let's look on the inside, of course. Mirror and another little baby Yoda. It says, cutest in the galaxy. It really is. It really is. And look at, there's a little frog down here. It's just, it's adorable. This palette is adorable. On the ColourPop website, it reads, this monochromatic olive green palette features a range of finishes from matte, metallic, and our iconic Super Shock formula. Create the cutest looks in the galaxy with the fun olives, golds, and neutral tones. Also, this palette is limited edition. There's the swatches. Now, let's get into the look. On a Smith 230, I'm first taking the shade just like a tattooy. I hope no uh, <laughs> fans of the show and fans of Star Wars come at me because um, I really just think this palette is cute. And I like... I don't know. Like, I'm a Star Wars fan and of the art. I watch the movies. I have not watched this show. I mean, I've seen little pieces of it because of Puffin. And uh, <laughs> he loves this show. And I just love little baby, baby Yoda. He's so cute. I'm just like, oh my gosh. <sighs> I So yeah. But anywho, don't come at me. I'm trying. I'm trying. And I'm just taking this shade and applying it to the outer portion of the outer corner, the outer lid, the outer crease, transition area. And I do have to build it up just a little bit, but I'm happy with this because <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Usually I do my swatches after the video. That's, you know, 90, I would say 95% of the time I do my swatches after I've already done my looks, I've already done the video, and then I swatch well, this time I swatched it first and I was like, uh, <laughs> I was a little bit concerned with this is one of the shades because it felt a little grainy when I was swatching it and I was having to build it up a little bit, but it is building up and blending out on the eye just fine. So that is a plus. And I'm not going to take this all the way in like I normally would all the way here to the inner portion of the crease because I am going to go in with the green, I think, on that area. Isom S33 and a baby face. I'm going to place this on the inner portion of the crease. And I'm going to blend upward. I'm also gonna be blending into the brown the light brown. Droid Protocol on a Bristles Beauty EO2RL. Placing this right on the outer corner, adding some depth in. I'm going to take this into the crease, not all the way in because I do not want to cover up the green. 
and I'm going to blend out the edge to blend upward, make it a little bit smoky. I'm adding just a little bit more, starting on the lid. I always suggest starting here down a little bit lower and blending upward. You just don't want to have all that pigment just stuck up higher. And I like to go in, I don't have my eye set, I just go in, put the pigment down, and then blend. Asum W21 and Right Hand Mando. Is that like a Mando Lorin? <laughs> Starting on the center of the lid, lightly going to tap over the edge of the lash shade we laid down. Just get them to merge. I'm liking how everything is turning out. I mean, I even like the way this looks all by itself. I'm not even, I mean, I could take a matte shade and go on the lid and be like, mm hmm. But we're not going to do that. But I could. I'm using this dry. I'm just Building it up. It was so pretty. I love green. Oh my gosh, I love green. Making sure to get this right up into the crease right here. I'm sorry if my voice is a little funky. I think I'm getting sick. Not like the bad sick, if you know what I mean, but the like, you know, seasonal bleh. Mac 242 and Precious Cargo. Literally all of my eye brushes from Ruffer are dirty. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be using a Ruffer 21. This is the original MAC 242. Just so you know, it's the one that has the synthetic and natural hair blend. I'm having to kind of build this up a little bit. This is one of the shades that I was a little bit concerned about, but it seemed more of like a topper type of shade. And by the way, I'm taking this on my brow. Refer number three, the very first shade that we used. And I am lightly going to apply this to the lash, up to the lower lash line. And then I am going to go add on a liner and mascara. Really love this look. I really do. To finish off the look, I used my Milk Boss liner just on the top inner rim, and I went ahead and added just a little bit more of this shade right here, just because I wanted to add a little bit more depth just right on like this little tiny part of my lashes right up top. And I just stamped it there just so that I could get a little, little extra zhuzh, just a little extra zhuzh, that's all I did. And of course, mascara. This palette is not only adorable, it is also beautiful. I really enjoy how this came out. I think it's so pretty. And I like all the greens, like the different tones, the different textures. This one down here has a little bit of that micro glitter in there with the matte. And it just, I like all the different tones. And then adding this over here really does help. This shade is so pretty. When I was swatching them, this was one of the shades. I was like, oh, do I want to use that? Ah, so, so pretty. But I really kind of wanted to stick with something slightly softer on the lid and add in the smokiness. So I decided to skip this color. However, I think that if you wanted to really bump this up, if you put this color all over the lid and then take this one or this one on the inner corner, you could definitely get something a little bit more impactful. But I like the softness of this eye. It's not too soft, not too dramatic. It's like right in between. I really, really like it. So this is a hit. If you like this look, but you don't necessarily want to buy another palette or you don't enjoy the cuteness like I do, I mean, I don't see why you wouldn't, but hey, we're all different. <laughs> you could obviously go in with so many different palettes. You could use the Just My Luck palette from ColourPop. I will say I do like this one more, but you could take that one and pair it with any other neutral palette that you have and you've got this look. And if you have the Tiny Marvels palette, it. There's shades in here that you could definitely create. I, <laughs> I love green. <laughs> so you could use Mantis, Treehopper, Firebutts, Web, and then to deepen it up, you could go in with 
any of these shades right here. Spider would be definitely a little bit more dramatic. Bugaboo would add a little bit more of that berry tone, or you could just deepen it up with walk and stick. But if you do want the palette and you don't necessarily want to wait for it to come in stock, like I said, I've got a giveaway. We're going to talk about that right now. It is international. As always, I am going to give it away in a week from today. Today is November 15th, so I will be giving it away on November 22nd at 12 p.m. Central Time. The only thing I need for you to do in order to be entered into the giveaway is to give me a way to get in touch with you. Instagram or your email is the best way for me to get in touch with you, but I do ask if you're going to do your email, please check. You have 24 hours to respond from the time that I reach out to you. So if I reach out to you at 12, you've got until 12 the next day. And I don't like picking a new winner, but it seems like a lot of the times whenever I am emailing people, I'm not getting responses. The last one I did, uh, was it the Pat McGrath? That one took several days of me trying trying to get in touch with somebody. I'm like, doesn't anybody want Pat? <laughs> so just make sure that you are checking and that you get back to me. All of the official rules will be in the description box, but that's all I want you to do is just let me know that you are interested in the giveaway and a way to contact you and just get back with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.